All right, power ranking poll. How did your team do? Goddard Rockets holding down the number one spot. Rio Rancho second. I tell you what, I don't see the Clovis Wildcats on here, but I do see Sandia, and I think they might drop because Clovis knocked off Sandia tonight, 38 to 34. We were efforting highlights of that game, and somehow, due to technical situations, we don't have those highlights at the moment. We are still efforting those highlights. Once again, Sandia and Clovis. Clovis with the victory, 38 to 34. Now, also for matters out of our control, Sky Ranger was grounded tonight. The first leg of the journey for pilot reporter Bob Martin was to start at Piedra Vista, where the Panthers played host to the St. Pius Sartans. I do tell you the final score. I have that. It is the Sartans getting the upset, 30 to 28. That is definitely an upset because Piedra Vista currently undefeated before tonight. The second leg of the journey was scheduled for Kirtland Central and the Broncos blown out by Bloomfield. 48 to nothing, the final there. Just like the Lobos, the Roswell Coyotes start the night at 4 and 3. The Portales Rams venturing into UFO country for a day with the Coyotes at the Wool Bowl. <laughs> the Coyote has some moves of his own. We pick it up in the third quarter. Roswell up 28 to nothing. Steven Lucero to Joseph Lovato way downfield, moving into the red zone. Next play, Lucero, quick pass to Hiram Mike Attire in the end zone, 34 to nothing in the third. Fourth quarter now, Lucero. Going deep, who is he looking for? Who else? McIntyre again, who makes a great over-the-shoulder catch for another Roswell touchdown. Roswell would win the game 48 to nothing. Homecoming at Santa Teresa High School. Yeah, congratulations to the homecoming queen and king. Always a big night when it's homecoming. Now, as for the game against Silver High, it always starts with the kickoff and Ryan Miranda says, I'm gonna make the most of it because it is homecoming. Decent return. The Desert Warriors would then push the ball up. No time outs, even with the spike, huh? No quarterback. This quarterback, A.J. Cedillo, throwing in bunches. And that was Eric Herrera with the catch in the first down for Santa Teresa. Silver hit the ball back, and after three and out, Cedillo would find Andrew Marin for a nice game. Then fourth and nine for Santa Teresa. A.J. Cedillo trying to get loose, but taken down. Back to defense we go, and Ryan Miranda, this time at defensive back, bats it away. Silver did get a chance to move it a little bit later. Derek Salas would find Nevada Bencomo. But in the end, it would be Onyate getting the victory. Final score tonight at the bottom of your screen. No, it is not. It was 31 to 28. Timeout is called. More highlights are on the way. A football Friday night camera even made it out to Dexter tonight. Also, we never forget the fellers of eight-man football. That and the rewind are on the way. First, do you know the answer to our trivia questions? 